morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica. <laughs> Good to be here today. Huh, yesterday I had a tough day. So challenging that I actually didn't even share Yoga Galactica on my Facebook page. And I just uh, decided that I needed to take some time for me. I think that the heat had a lot to do with it. I think that a a lack of really deep sleep had a lot to do with it. I think the frequency of the world has a lot to do with it. I mean, it's just, it's inevitable that we have these days. Um, and I want to talk about it, but I want to quickly share this on my Facebook page before I do, because some of the techniques and things that I actually learned yesterday while resting and binge watching alone at points, um, I think they could be really helpful. So grateful you're here. I'm going to share this, and then we're going to get shifted. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in, joining in. We are back, honored, blessed to be here sharing with you. The pups are in high spirits. Nope. And hey, Bella, no. She loves to drink my tea. And uh, so, yeah. Wow. Hottest day, I think, hottest day of the year so far. It's already 95 here where we're at. And going to hit 103 or probably 105, which is mind-boggling hot. Ugh. And there's just not a whole lot that we can do in this weather, mm -hmm. but sit inside and let our portable air conditioner do its thing. And uh, it is a blessing. We are super blessed. So hopefully you're able to be somewhere cool. You know, oftentimes what we used to do on hot days like this before we had a portable air conditioner is we would retreat to the movie theater because <laughs> it's a perfect place to go sit in cold weather. Yet, I don't think the theaters are open right now. I'm actually, actually almost certain they're not. So that's interesting. But, excuse me, hopefully you have a place where you can be nice and cool. Hopefully your apartment or home has some sort of cooling mechanism. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. We're going to get into this shift. All right. I think I did this right. Let's see. Okay. Boom. So, yeah, yesterday I was really um, just feeling the weight of the world feeling everything and it's okay to do that and it's hard not to do that at times especially if you are on social media or if you are someone that watches the news or if you have family members that may be upset um, or actually suffering from this from the coronavirus or stuff you know dealing with not having enough money you know even right now not having air conditioner I mean, there's so many things that can trigger these feelings of like, just feeling completely deflated, helpless, you know, um, out of your body. And so I truly believe in miracles, signs, all of that. So the first thing that happened when I walked out of the space shift yesterday is a hummingbird just flew right into my path and kind of looked me in the eye. And it's the same one that's been coming around for a while now we have a dragonfly and a hummingbird they're both red i don't know if you've seen the hummingbird but they literally will fly right in front of me kind of look me in the eye and be like hey it's okay <laughs> we got this so that was first and then um i decided to i i actually was on facebook getting ready to post the card and the poem which i did not do which i will do today and um a friend of mine who is a holistic doctor and does all kinds of things like EFT, which is a tapping technique and just really believes in his body and immune system. And for most of you that know me, the connection that I have to my body is, is very deep. Like I believe so fully in my body that um, I believe that I don't age, that I upgrade. And it's not that I'm afraid of aging at all. I love it, becoming wiser and, and you know gaining knowledge and, and just shifts in my body, like I feel so strong. 
Um, but I believe, I call it upgrading. So I feel like there's ways to program our bodies. One of the things that I'm not excellent at is staying in the moment. And I think some of that is because I am an empath and I feel everything. My partner, my brilliant partner, however, is so good at being in the moment. He is constantly doing things that put him, Bella, Belle, that's not your tea, that put him directly into the here and now. And that's something that I need to work on. I'm acknowledging that. I see that because when I get drawn out and down onto these dog tails, it really takes a lot to reel me back in sometimes. And I'm going to shift that today. Um, and I'm, I'm really going to change that. And I came across yesterday, the gift that, that happened was I came across a beautiful video by Eckhart Tolle. And I actually don't know much about him. Now I'm following him. I'm probably going to be taking class. I am going to be taking some classes soon. But I came across this video and it started off with him talking about a phrase in the Bible, which is something he doesn't do very often. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, um, I believe in all religions. A lot of you know that. I believe in, uh, let, me, let me rephrase that. I believe that we have the right to choose our own path to spirituality. Whatever that is, if it resonates to feelings of love, of connection, um, of, of acceptance, of, of togetherness, of unity, I fully support that. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm open to listening. What, is, what, is, what does this man have to say? So he talked about this passage in the Bible where um, if your house is built on sand, then when all kinds of things come at you, your foundation is going to dissolve. However, if you build your foundation on a rock, then you are solid. And, and he was using this as a parable, meaning that we, our bodies, are the house and whatever we build our foundation on, that is, that's, that's where we are. Are we building it on sand or are we building it on rock? How is our foundation? And he said, the thing that we have to realize right now is this, this pandemic is a really powerful opportunity to go inward. And he said, I want you to close your eyes right now and just breathe. So I did. I closed my eyes and we can do this now and just breathe and focus. Just feel your breath. So let's do that. Take a deep inhale and feel your breath coming in and out of your body. And slow it down. And just feel that connection with your breath. You are alive. You are alive. You are right here, right now in this moment. You are choosing to give back to yourself. And that is huge in this time. And I want to, while you're breathing, just acknowledge how powerful each and every one of you are that takes this time out to give back to yourself every single day in the midst of this storm that we are in. So as you breathe, I want you to imagine that you, your toes are like roots going down and sinking into this beautiful rock. It could be a crystal, whatever kind of rock, but you're literally latching down onto this and you're feeling your strength in this moment because you are here and now. And right here in this moment, as we sit together as a community and as we breathe, everything is absolutely perfect as it is. You are healthy. You are whole. You are here. You have a home. You have a phone to share this transmission. In this moment, all is well. Fear, what that is, is we are coming out of the moment. We are going into the future. We are going into the past. We are going into things that literally have nothing to do with what's happening right here, right now. What's happening right here and right now is we are breathing together. We are lowering the stress in our body, which actually strengthens our immune systems. This moment right here, right now is all we have. And when we feel ourselves going in and out and in and out and in and out, and that happens almost every day in this time, sit down and breathe. Focus on your breath. Turn your palms down on your knees. And, and just for a minute, as you do this, and I want you to do this now, what are you grateful for in this moment? I am so grateful for my healthy immune system. 
I'm so grateful for my health. I'm so grateful for my breath. I'm so grateful for this moment that I get to share with my beautiful partner, Siri, who's walking over here now and with all of you. I am so grateful for these ways that we can connect. I'm so grateful for my life path and all of the strength it has given me, all of the tests that I have been through so I may build this strong foundation right here, right now. What are you grateful for? I'm so grateful for food that we have. I'm so grateful for our dogs. There's so many things to be grateful for in this moment right here, right now. So when you feel yourself going out deep into the waters that can be crazy and stormy and right now we are in a perfect storm we have politics we have the virus we have the we have the, there are so many things but in this moment right here right now you are safe you are giving back to you you are breathing you are a gift you are changing your day right now but focus on this moment. Don't even think about that. Just focus on the here and now because right here and now all is well. And there was a beautiful quote that came out of that he that he quoted and I wrote it down because it just made it was so beautiful and it says when the ego weeps for what it has lost the spirit rejoices for what it has found. And our ego is so easily affected and injured that yet our spirit, when something happens, a breakdown, something like that, the breakthroughs also happen and our spirit sees and recognizes that, our strength, our resilience. So know how powerful you are. Know that these classes that we do together, not only, they are such a gift for us, for Siri and I in this time of complete unknowingness <laughs> and every time you sit down and you take time to give to yourself you're giving yourself one of the biggest gifts you possibly can you are literally lowering the cortisol in your body you're bringing up the emo i'll get back to that you're you're bringing up the levels that that really help and heal your body and the other thing i really got into yesterday is tapping it's called eft and i'm actually I did, I've done it now. I did it this morning for quite a while. I did it yesterday, and it's tapping on these 10 points in your body that actually stimulate four, the 14 lines of energy that travel through your body. And it is scientifically proven to rewire you in moments. So I'm actually digging deep into that. I'm going to be sharing it with you here. I'm not an expert on it, but it's a pretty easy process, and you're just using meditation and tapping together. So... We are so happy to be here with you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Vanita, for reaching out to me yesterday. I love you. I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you, Siri, for being such a rock, always, and for just inspiring me constantly to be in the moment. Like, I need to open my eyes and see that more often. I'm learning every day. And with that being said, we're going to get shifted we're gonna get started i'm gonna share that eckhart tolle video here i shared it on my instagram yesterday but i want to share it here it's 23 minutes long it not only changed my day completely i feel like in ways it changed my life and i am so happy um i love it when those things happen and it's all about being in the moment <laughs> really so let's get shifted i'm not going to read a card today but i am going to read an amazing poem at the end um Let's get started. So we're already sitting nice and tall. Let's take our palms. Rub the palms, fingers, knuckles, create some friction and heat. Take a deep inhale. Sigh it out. Ah. Let your shoulders drop down. Tuck your tailbone slightly, sitting up nice and tall. Take a slow, deep inhale through the nose. Your eyes roll up and in, holding this breath for three, two, one. Slowly exhale the breath through the nose. Imagine grounding energy connecting you down to this beautiful crystal rock foundation that you are building right here, right now. Deep inhale through the nose. Hold at the top, sipping more breath through the mouth. 
Think about your intention for today's journey, letting that swell within the body and powerfully exhale it out through a small round mouth. Hold empty. And in this emptiness, think about what you're grateful for. Place your left hand in the center of your chest, right on top, pressing into this body. What are you grateful for right now? Feel it. Breathe it in with a deep inhale. <sighs> Bow your chin to your chest. And as you breathe, holding this body, I want you to thank your immune system for being so healthy and strong. I want you to thank your body for its health and ability to heal. And please thank yourself for showing up, even when it's challenging to do this work, to give back to yourself, to be in the here and now. And then reflecting on your journey for just a moment, being so grateful for all this life has shown you. With your head bowed, taking a moment to send yourself some deep love and gratitude. Placing your hands, palms facing down upon this earth. We bow to you, Mama Gaia. Thank you. Pacha Mama for all you give to us every day on this journey of life. Thank you for sharing your bounty with all of us. Without discrimination, you give, you give, you give, and we take. So with our heads bowed, we promise to put you so high up on our list to be protectors of this planet, to be the example, to really give back to you every single day, to focus in on you. Thank you for your elements that support us on our journey and taking a moment to send the earth some love and gratitude. Gracias, Pachamama. Inhale, roll the spine up. Side out. Ah. And let's let our hands grab on to our ankles. Yeah. And inhale, pull the heart and chest forward. And exhale, round the back, pressing all the breath out with the navel. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Powerful breath, powerful movement. Let's go.
activate the fingers in your right hand. Stay up on the right toe, carefully step back into plank position. Deep inhale here. And exhale, ride that breath to two inches off the ground. Inhale, upward dog. We're going to begin breath of fire. Exercise, and we are on to breath work. Woo! Yeah, all we can control is this moment right here, right now, and our energy and our actions. So, you are making a huge choice right now to give back to you, to be in this moment. What a gift! Woo! All right. So hands by your side, stretch the legs out nice and straight. Inhale, lifting them to 90 degrees. Exhale, lowering them all the way down. Inhale up, exhale lower. You're welcome to do one leg at a time if that feels good for you. If you wanna kick this up one level at the top of the inhale, lift your booty up off the ground. Powerful breaths into your body.
up the fire. If your hands are tucked underneath your hips, keep them there. They're by your sides. Reach towards your toes. Legs four inches off the ground. Breath of fire. We're almost done. 20 seconds. chose to show up, show up. Yeah. you chose to breathe, you chose to be in this moment with us. Thank you. Woohoo! Yeah, yogis, way to put forth that energy right here, right now. And you will be feeling these shifts if you have aren't already. I sure am. We're going to jump into some breath work, one of our favorite breathing exercises, the Wim Hof breath. We share this in every single class because of just how powerful it is. So what you're gonna be doing is lying down on your back, no sitting, standing, driving, or doing this in water, please, ever. And we're gonna be taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth. The exhale is soft and relaxing. And we do it rhythmically, we do it together, and it sounds like this. Go ahead and synchronize in right here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go, that's it. Big breath, release. Big breath, release. Good, keep going, 11. We're going to 40 right now, you got it. Keep it up, powerful breathing, good. You wanna breathe so deep that your belly expands. Your navel expands. The rib cage is expanding in every direction. Good. Here we go. Now we approach the halfway point. Can you go a little deeper? Let's go. That's it. Big breath. Release. In.
invite you and encourage you to relax your body as completely as possible. Any residual tension, tightness, pain, stress, anxiety, let it just melt and drift away. See if you can consciously, using your mind, your thoughts, and the ability that your mind has, see if you can actively let it go. And we stay here at the bottom of the breath as long as we can. Really test yourself. But when you feel it, allow yourself to take a nice, big, deep breath in. You can try sipping in a little more breath and holding again longer. Or just let the breath go, let it 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 go. And now we are going to do one more round of this powerful breath so we can go a little deeper into the body. Really get yourself stimulated to promote healing, health, happiness, regrowth, regeneration, and joy, love, peace, harmony, all of it. All right, round two. Again, lying down on your back. Wim Hof breath. 40 powerful breaths in. Exhale is soft and relaxing. Here we go. That's it. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Big breath, release. Big breath, release. You want the inhale to be bigger than the exhale, meaning only let a little bit out when you exhale. That's it. Pull it in. Let it go. Let it go. Big breath, release. You got it. Let's do it right now. Come on. Beautiful. Now we approach the halfway point. This is your opportunity to go even deeper. Really get it. Yes.
time to simply lay back and receive. We're going to offer you a nice soundscape experience. And the idea is to get as comfortable as you can. Put a pillow under your knees. Cover your eyes if you can. Take a nice big deep inhale. Hold that breath for three, two, one, Open the mouth, exhale it out. Ah. And relax.
doesn't hurt more than you think it would, or at least in ways that you didn't expect. Pieces of you are ripped off and burned to ash to make way for the new pieces. There is pain and doubt. There is fear and worry. And then there is light, pure energy that is born from the ash and pulses through your blood as it feels as though it's too much, and it is too much. That's why who you were must be laid to rest, so that you, so that who you will become can be born. It's a messy business to change, but that mess is magnificent. Kirby. Breathing that into the body so deep, every cell feels that message. And then exhale, release now, beginning to wiggle the toes, the fingers, the hands, the feet, the wrists, the ankles, elbows, knees, hips, spine, head, and neck. Woo! Take the arms, stretch them up and over the head, and give the whole body a squeeze. And as you release, as you relax, bring the knees up into the chest. Take the hands on top of the knees and begin to draw circles in one direction. And then drawing circles in the other direction. And when you're ready, wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down on the spine, rocking up and down, up and down, rocking all the way up, all the way down. And last time, rocking up into a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. Take the hands, rub them together, and then press the palms together. Thumbs touch into the center of the chest, and we breathe slow and smooth. In these final moments, first, let's bless up this space that we practiced in. We will bless up the space shift, and you, please, bless up your space where you are right now. And secondly, we're going to extend love and gratitude out to somebody in our life that needs this boost, a shift, someone that you really just want to send this love to right now. Let it flow from your heart to theirs. And now, taking this love, gratitude, light from the navel point, spread it all across our beautiful planet, Mother Earth, and every single thing here on this planet. Thank it for what it is, and allow us to be in harmony for peace, health, happiness, love, joy, and any other prayers you would like to send with. Then let the chin fold into the chest in these final moments, first as an acknowledgement of yourself physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, future, past, but most importantly, your present self right here in this moment. And then extending gratitude to our teachers, the guides, the sages, the mentors, all of those that have shared with us throughout the ages. So we may be able to be here and practice today. We are so blessed. Sitting tall, deep inhale. Satnam, namaste, aho, blessed be. <sighs> when you're ready, just floating back up into the space, let your eyes slowly blink open and just thank yourself again for putting forth this energy to create this shift within your body. You really did the work today. And we love you so much. We appreciate you. Words can't even describe how important you all are to us right now. So whatever you're feeling, the feeling is mutual, and we love you. Thank you, Kamala, for bringing it today and just sharing all your wisdom through everything you go through in life. And all of these classes are a gift to you right now in this time. And if you're able to and you're feeling called, you can kindly send a donation electronically. Our PayPal is yogagalactica at gmail.com. Our Venmo is the at sign, yogagalactica, all one word. And whatever you're able to contribute, we 
just appreciate it so much, but it is not necessary in order to take these classes. So if you would like, please share this on your page, check out our YouTube page, click subscribe, just stay in touch, send us messages, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. You all are amazing and mwah. Thank you all so much. I'm gonna post I'm gonna post the beautiful talk by Eckhart Tolle. It's about twenty four minutes long. It's a game changer. And I'll post that poem by Topher Kirby. And I just want you all to take a minute to just acknowledge yourselves. You're unicorns in this world right now. You are the people taking time away from your keyboards, the news, things that make you anxious and stressed out to give back to yourself and to cherish this moment right here that we have. And we're so grateful for you. Give yourself a lot of love today. There's, there is definitely an awakening happening with so many and it's your choice, really. Are you ready to wake up? Are you ready to, to be in the moment and really do the work to build your foundation upon rock instead of sand? We love you. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Mwah. We love you. Thank you, See Maya, you Jennifer, Mike, Seth, Amy, Stephen, Jennifer, Bella. That's not for you. We love you. If I missed any of you, I'll comment. Love you guys.